Well, hi guys, Emma again. Welcome back to my shop. It's Sunday night. I'm messing around here. Day off tomorrow. I thought I'd get a bit done. I've just threaded these ring these rods on one end. They're a little bit long still, I'm gonna to have to shorten them up. These were just some bits I had laying around. I think they're three mil soft something. I don't know what it is. Seems to be plated or coated with something. I think they come with a uh, paint dish or something, uh, brush holders or anyway they're useful for something and this is what I'm going to use them for. So these need to be 136 millimeters long and they need six mil of thread on each end and that's another job done. So let's get in and make them the right length and, and thread them. So I did them in the blue bottle and marked them at 136 millimeters it says. So they want about, it's like about 12 or 14 millimeter off the end. So I glued them and marked them and cut them all off the same length. They don't have to be particularly critical, they've just got to look nice. And I'll tap these through each one just till the so it starts to show through the other side of the button die. That's about eight, about six mil or something, as long as they're all the same too. And the last one. So that's more parts done. These threaded so easy because they're actually three mil rods, and I've threaded them one eighth width worth. Because I've got a tap and a die for that size, and then we still need to make some nuts. So that's one end there. Now the other end, and we've got four bolts. Make sure that's nice and tight. Our lathe's all oiled up. the end. And what size drill do we need for 1 8 Whitworth? So if we have a look at the chart here, which is a freebie that come from the taps and dies guys, we've got 1 8 Whitworth, 2.55 millimeters it says, this is a tapping drill. If we look on this side, 2.5 Seven eight probably number thirty nine or number thirty eight drill would be the right one. So we've got one of them. This is the first time I've really used this drill set. I think we're going to try one with a number 38. I'm just going to see how that taps. So I've got a 1 8 tap there. The answer looks like it's probably very easily. There's quite a bit sticking out. Each side of the, the firebox on the bolt, so it won't hurt to make 
really long that. So last night I gave up as getting a bit late and this morning I got up and I finished off these finished off these eight little nuts and just a quarter inch brass with a thread in the middle about 350 thou long there shouldn't be much thread sticking out in the end of each one so I guess the next job is to put it all together. So I grabbed one of my nut drivers just to do these up. I put undercoat on the bits. I'm yet to put some top coat on. That's probably next. That just goes nicely. The the nuts are all pretty flush with the, the ends of the rod, which is how it ought to be. And I'm pretty pleased with that as a as an assembly. Just dip them all up. The last ones. And there we go guys. That's the firebox done. That's the way it looks, the four bolts through, and the nuts on the ends. And put the boiler tube in and that's a pretty tidy looking little machine. So, so far that's what we've got, it's starting to look like it's supposed to, and very very business like and nicely made, I'm rather pleased with this. Now just to see who's been listening right through to the end, I'm going to have to come up with a colour to paint this, so if anyone wants to offer any suggestions that would be fantastic comment for me and I'll certainly do a shout out to anyone who comes up with a colour that's going to look half good so let me know guys Kenneth KW painted his yellow and black which is quite neat I guess but I've got a range of colours and yeah let me know what you think Let's have some input. Anyway, thanks for watching and more soon.